My name is Saul Landau, and this broadcast is coming to you from Victory Through Christ Ministries here in Houston. And on behalf of my wife and myself, I'd like to say a wonderful welcome to you as we go on this journey to reveal to the body of Christ the word which the Lord has given us for this hour. I hope you stay tuned and be blessed by what the Lord has for you this morning. Let me quickly pray as we start. In Jesus' name, Lord, I ask that you speak to the heart of whoever is listening right now, whoever is watching right now. I ask the Lord, Heavenly Father, this word that you have given to us, O oh Lord, for the body of Christ, I ask that it benefit this person that is listening and watching right now. I ask the Lord that your word, that your will for this person's life will be made manifest. We thank you and we bless your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Before I go on to introduce uh, my ministry and uh, the word the Lord has given us, I'd like us quickly to go to the book of John chapter 3 verse 14. I believe you have your Bible with you. John chapter 3 verse 14. I'm going to read. It says, and, Moses lift, and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Then in John chapter 12 verse 32, he also said, And if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men to myself. This is the mission and this is the word for this ministry, Victory Through Christ. Many years ago, the Lord made me understand that I'm going to be a voice in this last days also to present to the body of Christ that Jesus Christ is the solution to all men's problems. Jesus here is prophetically speaking. He said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men to myself. He said, the same way Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must I be lifted up. This ministry is coming at this hour when we see a lot of things, a whole lot of things happening in the world and in the body of Christ, that is the church. And God is raising up men, God is calling men and sending them into the body of Christ to teach men what it takes to be prepared for the coming back of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So I believe uh, it's a privilege and an honor for God to, to ask us to do this also. Jesus was speaking prophetically here. And let's go quickly to Numbers chapter 21 verse 7. Because Jesus was actually talking about a, a passage of scripture in the Old Testament. So we want to go to the, that passage of scripture to know what, it, what happened in that place. In Numbers chapter 21 verse 7, I want you to open to it. It says, Therefore the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned. For we have spoken against the Lord and against thee. Pray unto the Lord that he will take away the serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fairy serpent, and set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass, that every one that is beaten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. And Moses made a serpent of brass, and put it upon a pole, and it came to pass that if a serpent had beaten any man, when he beheld the serpent of brass, he lived. We all know that the serpent, on the brazen serpent on the pole, it's a symbol even used by the medical uh, profession, which, is, which symbolizes the, the healing, uh, healing of bodies. Here, uh, Moses and the children of Israel were in the wilderness and the children of Israel sinned as they did so many times. The children of Israel in the Old Testament, I believe, they, are, uh, a, they symbolize and they are a type, if I can put it that way, they, they symbolize the church in, the, in, in, in this age. The children of Israel were always sinning and, and uh, sinning against God and God always brings them back. At this particular time they sinned, and fairy serpent was sent amongst them and he beat them and a lot of them were dying. And the Bible says they cried to Moses and asked Moses to speak to the Lord and Moses did that 
and spoke to the Lord. And the Lord asked Moses to raise up a brazen serpent, that whoever looked upon that serpent will be healed. Jesus, in John chapter 3, verse 14, he said, As Moses lifted up that serpent upon the pole, so shall the Son of Man be lifted up. And I'm telling you right now that Jesus must be lifted up in these last days. What we have seen in the body of Christ is that men have been lifted up. Institutions have been lifted up. Systems and methods have been lifted up as the solution to man's problem. But Jesus is saying in this last hour, He said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men to myself. In, that, in, the, uh, in the book of Numbers that we read, the Bible says the people were struck by this serpent. But He said, as long as they looked up onto that brazen serpent, they were healed. So what do we see in these last days? We see a whole lot of stuff happening to people. We see people uh, being, uh, being destroyed in different ways, in different forms. But I will put it to you that the greatest way, the greatest, the fastest way where men has been, have been destroyed is through sexual temptations. Just like the Bible says in, in Numbers 21 verse 7, it says, Fairy serpent was sent among the people because they sinned. Sex is a major problem in the world and even in the church. Why is it so? I'll be sharing with you the revelation which the Lord gave me many years ago. We were in subsequent videos that I'll be presenting. The, 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 the revelation which the Lord gave me to solve the sex problem because a lot of people have addiction, are addicted to sex. Like I was many years ago, I was addicted to pornography for over 20 years. And the Lord delivered me and gave me the secret to share with the body of Christ what it's going to take for every man to be healed and be set free totally. The Bible says, if the Son shall set you free, you shall be free indeed. So as I was saying, it's, the Bible says, as long as they looked on, up to the brazen serpent, they live. In the world as it is now, men have been destroyed by their own hands. Men have been destroyed by their own actions. Just like the Bible says, the children of Israel sinned and they were being destroyed. And these things are not only happening in the world, but they have come into the church also. You see it when, when we hear different stories about church leaders being tempted, living a, kind, a different kind of lifestyle. And at the end of the day, they are, they, they, they are, they are exposed and it brings, it brings about their downfall. But, we are at, but the world is asking. The world is looking up to the church. Is there no solution to these problems? But I'll tell you, Jesus Christ, He died on the cross to set men free. And He said, if, I, if the Son of Man, if the Son shall set you free, you shall be free indeed. This is why this ministry is coming at this hour. That the fairy serpents beat the people because of their sin. So also, if you look at the world now and even the church, Men have devised different kind of means, different kind of ways to satisfy their flesh. They satisfy their flesh in forms of sex, through food, through different forms of perverted entertainment. But the most, the most destructive one is the sexual perversion in the world right now. We see pornography being, pornography in the United States is a multi-billion dollar business. And it's destroying homes, it's destroying marriages, it's destroying our children. You may not know, you are a parent, you don't know what is going on. You have a child in the house. The child is being exposed to pornography at a very young age, online. It is no, it is no longer on the TV that porn is, is being viewed. The children are watching porn online. So the, 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 just like the Bible says, this very serpent came and was destroying the people was destroying the children of Israel. So also this sexual perversion that is going on in the world is destroying homes, is destroying lives, is destroying marriages through disease, through divorce, through broken homes. And Jesus is saying, if I be lifted up. The church has been quiet for so long. The church, it, it seems like the church had no solution to the problem, but the church is called the body of Christ. If they had if the head is sanctified, if the head can make you free, 
then the whole body can be free. Jesus is sending us at this hour to present to the body of Christ what it takes for men to be free. And I, I'm going to tell you that the, the, the sin, the sexual sin, the sin of sex, perverted sex, sex out of marriage, sex outside of marriage, is, the most, is one of the most dangerous kind of sin a man can commit. That is why I want to take you quickly to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18. 1 Corinthians 6, verse 18. I'm going to read it. It says, Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is, is without the body. But he that committed fornication sinned against his body. What? Know ye not that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have of God, and ye are not your own, for ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's temple. Which are God's. In another uh, passage of scripture, I said you, you, you are God's temple. So what are we saying? Jesus is saying, I am the answer. I am the solution to all men's problems. No longer men will be lifted up. No longer will institutions be lifted up. No longer will, me will methods be lifted up. He said, if I be lifted up. And this ministry has been set aside. God has called us to lift up Jesus. Jesus finished every walk at the cross. Jesus said, it is finished. When Jesus said, it is finished, it was finished. And, but most people are living their lives as if Jesus didn't finish the work. So I am here as a voice to pre 